द मूवी बिगिनस विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द मैन कैरेक्टर अ मैन नेम्ड मलिक He was sleeping in a hotel room. Suddenly he awakes because he has seen a nightmare. In his dream, he saw some insects that were gradually spreading throughout the world. He was awakened but still he notices the same insects appearing from the walls. Later, he puts his things into a bag including a drawing book and insect killer spray. He leaves after packing his luggage on another side Malik's son is Sean named Jay who was reading his father's letter and it was written my son i apologize to you because it's been 2 years i did not come to meet you actually i am on a secret mission i will come to meet you soon after completing that mission Here we discover some important things about Malik that he was an adopted kid so he did not see his parents and did not know anything about them He did not know their names or where do they live nothing later he joined the army when he was 19 He got married and has two kids One was Jay and the other was younger and Malik continue his mission against Paris. The one day he slapped his captain being furious and for this he had to spend 2 years in prison and his wife took her sons. His wife got married after a short time. Now she lives with her second husband and her kids live with them. It means Jay and his younger brother Malik used to write letter for Jay from prison. Jay also replies to him and used to tell him everything. Now 2 year have passed and Malik releases today from prison. He reaches his kids and locks his wife along with her husband in the garage. Then he moves to his kids and awakens them. He says we are going on a trip and we will enjoy it a lot. He asks them to sit in the car and the kids sit in the car while running without thinking anything. They leave from there immediately. The kids were happy that their father is with them and they have come far from the house. Malik stops the car at the gas station to purchase some important stuff from here. Here kids insist to move inside with him but he asks them to stay there. He moves inside to bring some food stuff. Jay checks his luggage when he left. He finds a diary there and as he opens it there were aliens pictures inside. He gets scared to see them and also thinks about it. They leave while taking things from there and Jay asks him why he has kept the alien pictures. Malik tells Jay they are not monster but just small creatures and may increase like monsters. Jay ask are they present in humans too but Malik say this is enough for today You are tired so take a rest for some time Here let me tell you Malik's thinking He feels like the alien are moving to the earth from the sky and will occupy the world soon This is the reason Malik is taking his kids for place to save them. They stops at a place because of traveling for a long time. Malik and Jay come out of the car but suddenly a police car stops near them. The officer ask some questions to Malik but he is shown staring into the officer's eyes. He feels the officer is also an alien not a human. 
he ignores the officer because of it and leaves from there. The officer gives him an electric shock to stop him and Malik falls there. The next thing he knows, he is standing up and hitting the gun in the officer's face. The officer gets faint and they leave in the car from there. Malik's younger son was sensitive so he gets scared. Due to it, he insists to go back home on the way. Malik says, I have brought you here with me because your mother is changing into an alien. That's why I am taking you with me to save you. We are moving to a base where the government is making a cure to escape from those aliens. The kids agree. They also believe the aliens are moving to the earth. Later, Malik stops the car in a town and says, Listen to me, I will be back in 5 minutes. So stay in the car and don't come out, but then a strange lady comes to them. She was mentally sick, but the kid get scared as they feel the lady is an alien. Malik's younger son gets scared that he comes out of the car. Then he runs inside the store and Jay also moves behind him. Meanwhile, Malik arrives and hardly controls his younger son. Later, they move on their journey after buying things from there. Malik calls his female officer on the way and tells her that he is with his kid. I have brought them while saving them from their mother. Their mother along with her husband is locked in the garage. So go there and release them but the officer asks Malik where are you going. Come back but Malik ignores her and disconnects the call. After some time the police take Malik's wife out with her husband. And their mother tells the police that Malik has kidnapped her sons. Later, this news was spread all over to catch Malik and the government set the reward of $10,000. Due to it, now Malik has become most wanted, now the scene shifts to Malik. He was enjoying himself with his son in the mountain. They were happy and enjoying themselves. There, Malik was also teaching his kids how to point. Now the kids were happy that they don't want to go back. The tire of their car punctures at night and they reach near a house while driving it. And Malik moves inside to find something to repair his car. An old man is shown when Malik was checking that house. He points a gun at Malik and tells him the government has set a reward of $10,000 on him. Malik sees the man while putting a torch on him and the man was looking terrible. He was looking like an alien. Later, the man shoots Malik when he tries to escape from there. A gun was shot in Malik's belly. And in self-defense, Malik attacks that man's face with a rod. He leaves while making him injured and steal his car. Jay is shown calling the female officer when Malik was in the house because he felt this was the base number. The female officer receives the call and tells Jay his father was not on a mission. But he was in jail for two years and Jay feels bad after hearing this. Malik has told them that he was on a mission for two years. After a short time, they move into an old house while reaching a town. They have no other way so they spend the night there. The man whom Malik made injured his son come to their father's home and finds their father in this condition. They become furious seeing their father in this condition and discover somehow that Malik is responsible for this. 
J moves in search of Malik and J moves to bring the medicine with his brother and for his father. J comes to a medical store and purchases a bandage and painkiller for his father. But there was blood on the money he gives to the owner. Seeing it, the owner calls the emergency number and tells them he has seen two kids in trouble. They are looking worried. Malik is shown curing himself and changing into an alien gradually. He becomes normal after a short time. When Jay is returning with his brother to their father, the son of the old man see them. They start chasing them and moving forward. Jay fights with his younger brother. Due to it, his brother becomes angry and leaves. Jay tries to find him but he could not find him anywhere. Then he goes to his father being upset to give him medicine. The sons of the old man catch Jay's younger brother and fire at the house in which Jay and his father were. Malik moves to his car for bringing a gun while escaping and one of them was about to shoot him. But during this, Malik shoots him while picking up his gun. Later he moves on the fight with another man while hiding his son at a place. He snatches his gun while taking the man at the gun point. Then Malik leaves while trying him with a handcuff and they go to a restaurant. Malik realizes a detective sitting there. And he says to his son Jay that I have decided to surrender. He says you have to take care of your brother after me and then he leaves. After it many police cars are shown chasing Malik and he sees the black sea of the car. And Jay was hiding there so Malik become furious at Jay. He says, I have asked you to take care of your brother and you have come here. You leave him alone and the police also discover Malik's car and the police point at his car. The police don't shoot at his car because there was Jay in it. Malik does not stop the car and moved forward and the police were also following him. Moving forward, the police cars surround Malik's car and the officer calls Malik and says, If you will surrender, I promise nothing will happen to your kids, but Malik does not trust him and feel they will end him while shooting him. Meanwhile, the female officer arrives and calls Malik. She says, try to understand and surrender, that will be better for you. During this, Malik notices some police officers moving near his car secretly from the backside. Malik becomes furious to see this. He tosses his phone and asks the female officers, did you deceive me? Then he says to Jay, son, forgive me please, I don't take care of you. Jay takes the gun from Malik and then he comes out of the car. The police pointed a gun at him from the surrounding now he was at the point of the helicopter. During this, Jay comes out with a gun and points in at the police. While asking them to put their guns down and don't shoot his father, he says otherwise I will shoot you. Here the police don't shoot at Malik seeing the gun in a kid hand and Jay hugs his father. They cry a lot and it's an emotional scene. Here the police believe that Malik did not kidnap his son. As his wife said but he is just trying to save them as a father. 
वी हैव सीन मलिक टेकिंग हिज सन फॉर वाइल्ड स्केपिंग फ्राम द एलियंस He has taken them for while saving them but they did not see alien. So the question is whether or not there were aliens in reality. The shocking answer is that there were no aliens and that those were just fragments of Malik's imagination. This was his hallucination because he was mentally ill. Due to it he was conscious of his son. He was an adopted kid so he was worried to allow the same things to happen to his children as it did to him as a child he was considering everyone an alien because he was feeling those people are dangerous to his kids this delusion in the reason he has driven his children so far and if we are talking about aliens they were just his imagination due to his mental illness the movie concludes here i hope you enjoyed this movie explanation if you enjoyed please like share and subscribe thanks for watching